Hi friends, I'm Ryan Lestrange with the Monday Word. My Monday Word for you is 2020, the year to see. We have entered into a brand new decade. I'm going to be prophesying over the decade, but I want to begin here. I believe it is a year of the prophetic. It is a year of prophetic vision. It is a year of prophetic decree. It is a year of God accelerating you, advancing you, enlarging you. Now I want to say this. It's not only a year to see positive things. I believe there's going to be some exposure. Anytime you have the prophetic in operation, it highlights that which has previously been hidden. But I want to read the scripture, 2 Chronicles 2020. I've been prophesying this, declaring this over this year, 2020. The latter part says, believe in the Lord your God, so you shall be established. I believe as we come into clarity prophetically, it's going to establish us. The word of the Lord is going to plant us in identity, in function, in purpose. There's an apostolic fixing. There's an apostolic planting. I believe it's a time and a season for us to be planted. I also believe the latter part of this verse, believe is prophets and you shall prosper. The word prosper there is a Hebrew word, selah. It means to move forward. It means to advance. It means to break out. I believe 2020 is a year to see and to break out. God is raising up people with sight, sound, vision, and revelation. I'm prophesying as the Apostle Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus that your eyes would be open, that God is going to bring you into greater awareness of who you are in Him. God is going to bring you into greater awareness of what he's called you to do. This is a year of emphasis on prophetic sight. We're going to see the seer emphasized. We're going to see prophetic ministry emphasized. We're going to have emphasis on vision and revelation. Watch out. We're going to begin to hear fresh vision from the Lord. We're going to begin to receive fresh revelation. And all of this is going to become a catalyst for us to break out. You know, one of the things that dreams and visions do is they bring hope to a defeated people. Moses felt hopeless and then he encountered the Lord through a vision vision of the burning bush. Uh, Jacob had a vision that accelerated him and launched him. Habakkuk said, I'm going to climb the tower and see what the Lord will say to me. This is a time and a season to climb up higher in God and see what God would say. So Father, I thank you for 2020. We've entered a time to see. We've entered a time where revelation is abounding. We've entered a time that your prophetic anointing is going to serve as a catalyst to break us out on every front. I pray and pray prophesy that people would rise in sight prophetically, that people would rise in vision. I pray for prophetic dreams, prophetic visions, prophetic revelations, prophetic encounters. I pray for uh, schools of the prophets, gatherings of the prophets, prophetic gatherings, prophetic conferences. I pray for prophetic churches, prophetic networks, prophetic broadcasts, prophetic concepts that are going to break the church out. For I hear the Lord say, in 2020, the church shall no longer be in stagnation. Many things have been stagnant, saith the Lord, but I'm releasing prophetic sounds. I'm releasing prophetic words. I'm releasing a prophetic flow that's going to break the dam that's created stagnation. I prophesied the breakage of every dam, every obstructive structure in the realm of the spirit, that the people of God come up higher into seeing and knowing. I pray for a special blessing upon prophets, prophetic leaders, and prophetic ministries. I pray, God, that there would be a busting forth, a bursting forth, a break forth. I pray, Lord God, as we've entered this year and now a new decade, that we would break loose on every front. And I thank you for it now. And help us to be sensitive to what you're saying and showing to your people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.